Welcome back. Fuel is always expensive. Imagine, though, having to travel up to an hour just to fill up. That's what locals in Trangy face. The servo, about six hours northwest of Sydney, has shut. And the quaint country town is fuming. It's hurting. It's bureaucracy gone mad. It's just, it's ruining the town. Get us some bloody fuel. Help us, help us out here. The people of Trangy have nothing left in the tank. They initially told us two weeks. Like two weeks has now been four months. Four long months without a petrol station has cost cafe owner Julie 60% of her business. That m early morning trade has died. We're not getting that traffic. We're not getting the trucks. We're not getting the grey nomads because they can't, they don't stop. Tanya owns the news agent. She can no longer afford to pay her staff. It's hurting the town, majorly. They don't live here, so they don't know how hard it is for mm. the town to survive without it. Down at the caravan park, Paul's visitors are becoming stranded. And they said, well, I'm not going to make it 35 k's. I was expecting to have fuel. We gave him the fuel out of our lawnmower can. Trangy's old petrol station is no more than five minutes from home for anyone who lives here. But right now, they have to travel more than 30 kilometres away here to Narromine and back again just to fill up. You can see why locals are at their wits end. To use a quarter of a tank of fuel to go down and get it and come back. You know, it's crazy. Almost 70 kilometres and an hour-long round trip. We didn't realise, as a township, how important our little service station was. They keep telling us to say, fuel's coming, it's coming. Faye is 92. She once ran the local petrol station. I took over the Shell service station for a couple of weeks and ended up being there for 20 years, so I know all about fuel. Lucky she has her quilting to keep busy because Faye is on a restricted licence, meaning she can only travel up to 10 kilometres from her home. You're pretty good it's for a... driving at 92, Faye. Oh, I love my driving, yes, I do. I've got friends just sort of out of town a few kilometres and I like going out to their place for a lunch or something like that. Like many of the elderly residents here, they have to rely on people like Alex who's been making the 70 kilometre round trip just to fill up jerry cans. The only way to get petrol back to town. Kindly put them into our cars for us, so it's been wonderful, their, their help here. Ampol abandoned the old rundown site in December last year. Since then, it's been a bureaucratic battle. If there's a lesson to come out of it for government bodies, it's get out amongst the people. Absolutely. Don't try and do it by email yep. and Teams meetings. You know, COVID's over, get out. Mm. Get out into the regional areas that you're responsible for. Paul McCallum owns Inland Petroleum, a local company who started negotiations for the new lease 18 months ago. Well, my hands are being tied. And look, I'd also just like to apologise to the people of Trangy. Paul and his team have started work on a temporary petrol station. It's a temporary. It's a temporary solution for 12 months, 18 months. Paul says he's been up against Transport New South Wales, the government department which owns the land. This is not their bread and butter, this is our bread and butter. We're good at doing this. But they didn't really understand, so they put a lot of conditions that weren't relevant to what we're doing. Is this bureaucracy at its finest? Ah, uh, yeah. How has this felt to know that these people here have been suffering? Well, difficult. I could imagine it's very difficult. We need to get it done as quick as possible. Yes, I realise there's red tape to be done and hoops to jump through, but they need to make their hoops all join up. Are they going to subsidise us for what we've all lost? You know, really and honestly, are they going to help us? Do you feel like the people here should be compensated by the government or compensated in some way? When we open up, if you're a resident of Trangy, you're going to get a pretty healthy discount for the first week. A small win for the big price they've had to pay. We're a small community and we all need to stick together. Mm. We'll battle through, yeah. but it won't be a five-minute fix. No. 